Hello again, everyone. This is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, and this is Stock Trade Ideas for the week of December 1st, 2014. Today is Sunday, November 30th. We're going to take a look at uh, a couple of the positions we exited last week, two that we are still in, and then three new positions uh, for the coming week, three new trade ideas. Okay, first off, we're going to start off here with Facebook. Um, let me get rid of the crosshairs. Facebook, we entered puts right about in here. I think it was on this day as we saw this continue to break down. But then it just it just started to stall out, and it was taking forever. Could never get the flush that I was really looking for to the downside. Then we got one, two, three days. There were up days in here. And uh, I lowered my stop, and the stop was right above this high here, a three-day high. And it was like a penny above, and we got stopped out on this day right here, and it proceeded to rally. Now, the, the pattern that I'm seeing that is a possible pattern now, is a diamond formation, a diamond top up here. Now, in order for this to be a true diamond top, we're going to need this to sell off from this point here. So that's what I'm looking for. Now, if it continues to push up, then this goes away, okay? But right now, the pattern that I'm looking at as a potential reversal pattern on, on Facebook is for it to come on down, start selling on down, get closes below the 10-day the exponential again, and then we'll see if it doesn't break on down out of this pattern. But it's got to prove it to me uh, for that to happen. Okay, then he, the next one we're going to take a look at is Broadcom. So we got uh, stopped out of Facebook and we got stopped out of Broadcom. Now, Broadcom was a little more of a uh, kind of a true reversal pattern up in here. We had a little, uh, actually a couple of setups that I was playing uh, for reversal. And then it kind of went sideways. We got in on this day, I think it was right in here. And it basically went sideways, and I thought it might roll on over, but it just didn't. It continued to push to the upside. So uh, it was one of those, you know, very short stop kind of things where you, you weren't going to risk a ton on the play. Uh, you were going to know fairly quickly whether you were wrong, and that happened on this day here. So we got stopped out of Broadcom on that play. Okay, I mean, that's the nice thing. The thing about this is I, I think the went versus a trend play, uh, the trend play, I think you can get uh, more surprises to the upside or, you know, either when you're playing it to the downside or playing it to the upside when you're trying to play more of a trend play. And, and it can be a short term trend play like tra trading with the 10, which is what I usually try to do. The, the nice thing about a kind of a reversal off of a pivot point of some kind in here is that you have limited risk, limited exposure. So anyway, just a couple thoughts on that. Well, let's take a look at Adobe. Adobe we got into on Thursday. No, this would have been Wednesday. So it was breaking out, broke above this, uh, this high in here, this two-day high. Uh, it had come down, a little bit of correction. Now bounced back above the 10 and continue to resume the move to the upside. Now the nice thing about what I'm seeing on Adobe is that it has broken out of this, this uh, you know, trend line across the top here. And we'll see whether or not we can continue to get some upside thrust and continuation. It has gone beyond this high here. And the next pivot high test is here. And I think that's, a, you know, um, a high, either an all-time high or a high for many years. So that's what, 74.69, the high on Friday, 74.10. So let's back on out of this. Uh, yeah, that, that would have been an all-time high point there, as you can clearly see. So if Adobe uh, breaks through here, then we are into a blue sky territory. Okay, the next one is Yandex, and Yandex is the other way. Okay, so Yandex, I saw that, you know, all the moving averages aligned to the downside, 233, the 55, the 21, and the 10-day exponential. These are all simple. And, and then we got this breakdown where it closed back down below the 10 again. You got the moving average cross here to the downside. Uh, not a strong move here. Got a little bit of the, you know, kind of a pullback and now resuming. Looks like it's broken this trend line, very similar to kind of what it did here. This was a little flatter in terms of the trend line, almost a little bit of a head and shoulders consolidation type pattern, continuation type pattern in here. 
So we'll see how far we get. I'd like to think that we're at least going to test this low down in here, which is not too much further than what we've got. But I also think there's the potential that we're swinging this kind of distance from the break of this trend line. Let's back on down. Uh, you can see the previous low point down here on in April was uh, 2170. So that's down below 22, uh, down in that range. So this is what it looks like on Yandex. So we'll, we'll see what kind of continuation we get off of this play, this move here. So right now it's, it's working. We got in right at the opening on Friday morning. And uh, the next one we're going to take a look at. OK, now we're going to take a look at you know, three new trade ideas. First one to look at is FireEye. FireEye also is breaking down. We got the moving average cross in here. It originally started breaking down in here, rallied back, got above it, but you know you still had the 10 below the 21, and now it's pulled back down again. Uh, ideally, I uh, would have gotten in around 31, 16 in here, but I'll also take you know uh, below this uh, below Friday's trading too. So you know we'll see what's uh, if that uh, can get an entry. All the details of the trade ideas I put on my trade ideas webpage. And you just you have to be a subscriber to access the Trade Ideas web page, but it's simply um, it's very easy to subscribe. There's a lot of the forms out there, and uh, just first name and email, and you're good to go. And uh, this um, in here, the one thing I'm noticing is the break of this trend line for you know a potential swing move to the downside. So that's what I'm looking for. You notice how to me the best breaks happen when they do break a trend line at the same time that you're getting some kind of kind of play like right in here a little uh the pivot trend line type of swing move to the downside it, it broke through this and then you know got the closes below the 10 and it just rode on down below okay so now i'm looking to see do we get some kind of test down here to the prior low down here around 25. Uh, we'll see if we get that kind of a move or not uh, the next one we're going to take a look at is Goldman Sachs. I think Goldman Sachs is rolling over. Uh, there's a little bit of there's just some divergence that is occurring between you know this top up in here and over here, and I'm seeing it on on uh, pretty much all the indicators. Uh, we're getting a moving average cross. Let me blow this up for you. Okay, so the moving average is crossing uh, the 10, crossing below the 21. We're we're getting closes below the 10. So I'm looking for an entry on the puts. Again, the details are on the Trade Ideas page. Uh, and uh, you know, I've got a specific point at which I want to enter those puts and buy those puts. Uh, the next one is Yelp. This is one we've been in, and uh, I can't remember if we've been in or out a couple of times, but this is interesting. Uh, and I think this is kind of my speculative play uh, of the week. And uh, this could be... This could be a really high reward type of move. We're getting a couple closes. This close in here, let me zoom in a little bit. This close right here on Wednesday was actually a close below the uh, blue line, the 10 day. So now we've gotten two closes in here. This looks like it's trying to roll over. The 10 is still below the 21. Uh, we're going to need to see some continuation. But the thing that's interesting about this did you see these little fan lines? So I've got a little fan line here, a fan line here, and then the fan line right here almost corresponds with this larger fan line. Okay, so I've got a series of larger fan lines that are out like this. And so I believe if this, if Yelp breaks this fan line in here, that it is really gonna go, okay? And this low point here is 49.11. Okay, so that's down in here. And when you look at below this point, there's not a whole lot for a while. I mean, this, this point in here is 4744, but there's a big gap. Okay, right here. You got to get to around 43 to fill that gap. Okay, so there's, if this breaks through here, there's a lot of open space. Now here's the, uh, let me show you one that uh, is very interesting close to this. Okay, so here's Apache, and this is one that I missed, and it really bugs me that I missed this. Uh, but uh, you see the big fan lines that I'm talking about from the, these kind of off this pivot point down here? And then we had a series of smaller fan lines in here. 
Now granted, this third one isn't lined up with this last one like it is on Yelp, but the, I couldn't help but notice the similarities to this and this fan line structure and then this huge move that we got in Apache. Now, let me go back to Yelp. Okay, so let me blow it up a little bit. So you can see the similarities to what's going on. Now, I have no idea what would cause a huge breakdown in Yelp. Uh, I have, you know, no, there's no guarantees that's going to happen. I mean, this could rally, but right now I just, you know, I think it's really, really interesting. I think it's worth taking a shot at and putting a play on. So that's kind of my speculative play of the week. All right, so that's Yelp, and that's it for today. We'll be back tomorrow night uh, with a, a market update and uh, kind of a check-in on how some of these trade ideas are doing. We'll go from there. All right, everyone, have a great Monday. And uh, if uh, you felt like the video was helpful, please share it on social media. And if you're not a subscriber, subscribe. Just click on the little, little red box here and first name and email, and you can download the PDF I've got for you and it gives you access to the trade ideas webpage. So this has been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Have a great rest of the weekend and a great Monday.